All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to season 30 of Alliance War. Uh, I know this is a little bit delayed, uh, but I've been out of town for a few days. So this is war number three. Uh, I should be able to catch up here over the next couple days. So for war number three, we matched New Nation, uh, which is lovely. Uh, we did end up, uh, I think, they barely, barely losing. I think they beat us by like 16 or so. Uh, so you can see my team was Apocalypse, Angela, and Odin. Apocalypse is to fight that Nick Fury on Node 23, uh, the rank 4 Nick. So I was pretty worried about that. So this first fight is King Groot. Um, I, I'm not sure what the point of placing him here is, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward fight. Just basically don't give him a ton of aggression furies and don't get hit. But he uh, himself really doesn't do anything as a defender. So I got the armor break on me, just that way I'd make sure to always be at full health. Uh, so yeah, he can't shrug against Apocalypse, so really, really easy matchup. Uh, I was trying to get some uh, charges for Apocalypse so that the Nick Fury fight would be not as bad. Uh, so he throws an SV2, which again, no big deal because I've got the permanent armor break. Uh, this node does have strike back, so I'm going to try to throw specials when he doesn't have much power, like right now. Uh, and you don't have to worry about him shrugging the debuffs, which is nice. Uh, the concussion, actually, I wonder if it can permanently shut off King Groot's abilities. Uh, he's been bugged for a long time. Uh, you'll notice in AQ sometimes, like, all of his abilities will just stop working. Uh, so he, didn't, he was trying to <laughs> bait me to hit into his block to give him the two bars of power, but uh, I did not fall for it. We are too smart for that nonsense. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the fight's really simple. We're a minute and a half in. It's pretty slow, of course, uh, but as long as you're reasonably careful, it's not too bad. Apocalypse is kind of a noodle until he builds up his charges, uh, especially, obviously, I'm not running suicides because I guess with the armor breaks, I could have run suicides uh, and the fight would have been long over, but uh, I decided it was better to use Apocalypse without Suicides. So first fight, really simple. Uh, the second fight is a Human Torch. Uh, originally I was assigned Angela, but I wanted more charges for Apocalypse, so I asked if I could use Apocalypse, and it was fine. Uh, you can see that full health high ground, of course, is annoying. Bubble Shield can be pretty annoying. Power Focus 1 with Torch is pretty annoying, uh, but Apocalypse will become Incinerate Immune. And once he becomes incinerate immune, it's fine. Uh, I checked to make sure I still had the invuln, which I did. I kind of waited a little too long to cl click enter fight, uh, but I don't think the invuln ran out. So I'm going to throw some some heavies to bleed him. Uh, that'll lower his amount of time he has the incinerates on me. Uh, that was a sweet intercept right there. Uh, so I think I was trying to get to like a 20 combo to get the high ground off him. Because you can see it's 737 uh, from high ground. It's pretty annoying there. Uh, it was a nice heavy counter. Uh, so I did take a decent amount of damage there. Uh, I did. I was at nine of those charges. Uh, so there I do trigger the uh, incinerates, which is pretty annoying. But uh, I should become immune here pretty shortly. And then I don't need to worry about him doing anything really, because once you're incinerate immune, it's just the high ground that you need to worry about. He does have three charges, holy smokes. I don't think I even noticed this. Yeah, you can see right there, I took like 6k damage just from three blocked hits. Uh, and then uh, he died. I thought he was charging in, but I think he died <laughs> mid-charge. So not super, super clean, but you know, I didn't get hit and I was able to build the charge that I wanted. So no complaints. So next we got the Apocalypse versus Nick Fury on 23. So I was quite worried about this fight because he's not ramped all the way. And this is a rank four, uh, so massive attack. So if you mess up, you will be hit quite a bit harder. Uh, my APOC does have a lot of health. I did run maximum greater strength for this war. So the plan is just parry medium light and try to avoid him um, throwing special ones, because that builds his charges. 
Uh, I do use special ones here because they do almost the same damage and you can obviously throw twice as many special ones. Although with special twos, you do get a smidge of power back, but with Apocalypse, it's not a huge deal. So basically just bait heavies, uh, re-parry. Sometimes when I try to re-parry, I accidentally dash back. Like there, I just missed, I guess. But no big deal. Uh, you do want to make sure you don't mess up the medium lights. Just keep going medium light. So the fight's pretty slow. We're almost a minute in. He's still got his first life. So I'm just blocking a lot. Uh, I have a ton of health, like I said. Uh, throw the heavy. Uh, I wanted to get him to two bars of power. And he wasn't running willpower, actually. I don't think I noticed this during the fight. But uh, there, I guess I just messed up. Uh, not sure what happened. Uh, and there I end, I did a medium followed by a special one, which is also bad. Shouldn't have done that, but uh, we're okay. So that was really the only kind of sloppy part of the fight. Uh, I just didn't notice in, in the moment that I had messed up my combos, but uh, him not having willpower is nice. I did notice that I was applying weakness instead of poison for most of the fight, which at at the time I thought, oh, that sucks. But then I kind of thought, uh, kind of during the fight, that, well, actually, maybe it's not, not so bad because it's going to limit his block damage if he's always got a weakness on him. So there, here, I'm just trying to wait out his life model decoy. It's a little risky, actually, because of the uh, um, prowess building up. So that was a really nice uh, intercept medium light into the special, even though damage-wise it doesn't really do anything. But I, I didn't want him to have, you know, 10 prowess and then me mess up. Uh, you will see him get a bunch of his tactical charges here shortly, I remember. No, still at three. Yeah, he didn't get any there. Huh. Maybe that was a different fight. <laughs> um, but yeah, just trying to bait heavies. I've got a ton of health to work with, so I'm, at this point I'm not worried or anything. He keeps throwing, throwing heavies, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm trying to get back to an SV1, because I know if I can throw an SV1, the fight's over. And there... I get the special one and the fight is over. So it went really well. Uh, it took about two minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, there was that one kind of sketchy moment in the middle, but not too bad, almost 100 hits. So pretty slow fight, but yeah, it went well. I was a little worried about it, about it because it's a rank four, but it went well. So now we got Angela versus Havoc. So this was when I was going to be doing that Nova fight on 49, and that fight I was petrified for. Uh, I had actually, uh, in our tracking sheet, already inputted the death. Because <laughs> uh, I just thought, yeah, there's no way I'm going to solo a Nova there. But yeah, you're going to see these fights are a little sloppy. I'm taking massive bleed damage. Um, if you put on the Odin pre-fights, she's essentially bleed immune. And you actually don't take the bleed damage from suicides. So should have done that, but uh, I forgot to put on the Odin pre-fights before this fight for her. So I am throwing special ones. Obviously, her special one sucks, but you don't want him to get a lot of those block penetration charges. Uh, I've lost a lot of health, already down to like 80%, but she will, you know, she does heal a bit. I am running suicides because of the Nova fight. Uh, I don't know how I got hit by that special. I must have just missed somehow evading it. Uh, I'm good at evading his special one. It's not something that ever causes problems for me. So yeah, not a great fight, but lost a lot of health. Um, but I don't think I was ever really in any danger. Although, again, that was pretty poor. Uh, it was just the, n the nerves of the uh, Nova fight, really. So here, I'm going to use Apocalypse. He's immune to Under Pressure, which is the disorient nonsense. Uh, although Angela could definitely do this fight, but I went with Apocalypse. Uh, it's, his, it's his only other fight, so I wasn't worried about running suicides. Uh, I just wanted to basically end the fight as fast as possible. So five hit combo, special one. Mistimed it, um, so he did get the high altitude, which is pretty annoying. Uh, there, I, I remembered I can parry stun through block. Uh, apparently, I didn't evade that. I think my phone, my finger must have got stuck. 
Uh, but yeah, throw another special one. The fight's almost over. Uh, there's no real danger to this fight other than just taking a crap ton of block damage. Ooh, almost swore. Uh, that was a really nice intercept there. I don't even didn't even remember that one. Uh, and here the fight is over. So yeah, pretty much most of these two fights I was just thinking about Nova. So debated a couple strategies uh, with my BG leader for how to approach the Nova fight. Uh, whether I should um, through use a power start one or whether I should use an invulnerability boost. Uh, so here I'm going to put the horseman for Henoch so he can Archangel a couple of these next fights. Uh, so once he finished, I went in against Nova. You will see he does have two pre-fights. That is the Suppression oops, and the Petrify from Mr. Fantastic. So the strategy is you want to counter his heavy with her heavy. That way you can keep up the suppression and the petrification ray, which limits his power gain. So the strategy we ended up going with was, I'm just gonna block bait and try to bait out his SP3s. You also may notice that you don't see the Odin pre-fights. Uh, there he is sitting there doing nothing. And I forgot to place the Odin pre-fights. Uh, now, of course, you know, 90% of the blame for that uh, goes to my BG leader for not telling me. Uh, but that is, you know, of course, 10% my fault for not putting the Odin pre-fights. So that was pretty stupid. I did not notice during the fight that I didn't have the Odin pre-fights. I only noticed it after I was watching back the video. But you will see, uh, I was uh, basically rainbow boosted for this fight, uh, for, well, for these few fights. So throw in the invul. Uh, I did ask my BG leader what to do if I mess up and waste the invulnerability boost early. Uh, and I was told, don't. So that was the strategy. Uh, so you can see she's taking all the bleed damage, which she wouldn't with Odin, and boom, there's a bunch of incinerates. Again, during the fight, I didn't notice this because I wasn't looking at my health bar. I was looking at him. Uh, really sweet intercept right there. Uh, so now I'm just trying to bait the heavy, and I realized that I missed. Um, I did apply a slow to him, which is completely useless. Uh, all that does is give him willpower healing, so that was cool. Uh, and I think around this point, I did look at my health bar and notice, like, whoa, how am I only at, like, 50%? What happened? Um, cause even, cause at this point she's obviously not taking any of the damage. Uh, that was a really nice intercept right there. So I tried to throw my heavy or my special three before he could to try to get, uh, my power back and then to get the power from his SP3, but, uh, he, he hit the button first. Uh, so I am winning the health battle slightly. Uh, and there I get my SP3, get the 20% damage. So at this point I thought, you know, most likely I'm going to be all right. Uh, her special three does pretty decent damage. That was, what, 38k? Another beautiful intercept. Uh, the intercepts are really on point this fight. I think just because I was hyper-focused uh, there, I missed the something. I don't know. Oh, I mistimed when to throw the special. So, yeah. Uh, pretty nervous for the Nova fight, but it went really well. Uh, I was really happy with that. Other than, of course not putting on the Odin pre-fights, which was incredibly, incredibly stupid. Um, yeah, so this was a horrendous war for us as an alliance. I think it was like 18 to two or something. We did not beat them, but maybe next time we'll do a little bit better. So that will do it for this uh, war video. Uh, thank you to everyone for watching and I will see you in the next one.